Hey guys, today I am going to tell how to fix the application error by this error code. Usually, you may get an error message that says the application was unable to start correctly, accompanied by this error code. This error message appears when you are trying to open an application on Windows. Usually, this happens after you upgrade from an earlier version of Windows and something goes wrong with certain files or programs. You can try the methods which I am going to show you now and see if they can help you get rid of this error. First, reboot your computer. There can be something tiny that goes wrong in your system when you see a the application was unable to start correctly error. A simple reboot of your computer can fix this error. Number 2. Run your application as administrator. When you come across this error, you can try running your application as administrator and see if this is helpful. Right click on the application you want to open. Then select properties. Go to compatibility tab. Check run this program as an administrator. Then hit OK. Try running your application and see if this method fixes the error. Number 3. Reinstall your application. Sometimes the application you want to run may contain something that has corrupted. In this case, you should uninstall your application completely and then reinstall it. After that, run the program and see if your problem resolves. Number 4. Reinstall Microsoft.NET Framework. In fact, in many cases, the application was unable to start correctly error results from issues on Microsoft.NET Framework. You may need to reinstall it to fix the issue. Microsoft.NET Framework has been integral part of Windows 8 and 10. You cannot remove or reinstall it manually. Therefore, the steps below may only apply to Windows 7 or earlier versions. For Windows 10 or 8 users, you can try updating your Windows to install the latest .NET framework. Press Windows plus R keys. Type Control and hit OK. In Control Panel, click on Uninstall a program under Programs. Single click on every item starts with Microsoft.NET. And then right click on them and click on Uninstall or Change and follow the instruction to uninstall these items. Go to Microsoft.NET Framework download website to download and install the framework. You can find the link in the description. Number 5. Reinstall Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable Packages Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable Package is a runtime component necessary for running of multiple applications. The files in Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package usually corrupt due to many reasons and this can cause this error. In this case, you need to reinstall these components. Open programs just like the previous method. Uninstall all items with the name of Microsoft Visual C++ 2 redistributable. Go to Microsoft to download and install Visual C++ redistributable packages. You can find the link in the description. Number 6. Update your Windows. Updating your operating system can fix the bugs that cause troubles. In addition, some features and programs built in Windows such as DirectX and .NET Framework can also be updated during the process. It is recommended that you update your operating system and see if this can help you fix this error. Number 7. Run Check Disk The error can also result from hardware issues, especially from your hard drive. You should run check disk using command prompt and see if there is any problem on your disk. 
click on start menu and type cmd right click command prompt in the result and select run as administrator enter chkdskc colon slash f slash r this means you are going to check and repair c drive if you want to check another drive replace c with the corresponding letter of the drive follow the instruction to complete the process after that check and see if the problem is solved thank you for watching